So about 800 of you guys asked me to make War Machine's shoulder turret from Iron Man. Yeah, I can build that. Okay, so if I'm gonna make this, y'all gotta comment right now what I should build next. And also upvote other people's cool ideas you see down there. And while you're down there, maybe toss me a like and subscribe, cause this is gonna take some work. So once again, after binge watching the Iron Man's freaking kernels. That's better. Here's what I came up with. So we want the blaster to be able to deploy and retract onto my back when we're not using it. Maybe some sort of like piston to extend and retract. Now we could use pneumatics to do this. Probably a bit overkill. Plus, this thing's gonna be mounted like right next to my head. So, you know, one wrong switch and uh, pop goes the weasel. Instead, how about we use one of these linear actuators? This should be able to raise and lower the turret off of my back gently. Okay, so it's a bit slow, but if you put some dramatic music behind it, still kind of sucks, whatever, it's not important. Let's make the cool part, the actual blaster swivel mechanism. But first, I wanna show off some inventions made by you guys. Uh, I do this in every video, so uh, if you made something cool and want me to feature it, DM me on Instagram, at jlaservideo. Hit it with a follow if you want, and enjoy. Alright, so for the blaster, I'm thinking we use an electronic airsoft gun. It's easy to control, and it's uh, got a healthy amount of power, too. The only thing, though, it's pretty loud when it's, like, right in your ear. So to fix that problem, we're gonna use some of these Bluetooth headphones. These babies are by Cove, who are nice enough to sponsor this video. So these things got built-in noise cancellation that should be able to drown out the blaster and uh, any other ambient noise. And we can even make calls through them using the built-in microphone, so we can stay in cahoots with the rest of the team. Cahoots. That is a funny word. They are pretty comfortable too, like they've got the soft touch memory foam, 12 hours of battery and 200 hours of standby time, USB rechargeable, and they got some great audio too for the price. Because they're 64% off if you use the link down below, so you'd be paying a small fraction of the price as you would be for other name brand headphones. So if you're in the market for some headphones, definitely would recommend checking these out by Cove. Remember, link in the description, 64% off. All right, now we gotta figure out how to make this move. Because in the movies, the cannon works almost as if there's like another person operating it. Like it has a mind of its own. Like you can be looking one way and the cannon's off, just firing off in the other direction. So to make this happen, we're gonna use two high torque metal servos. I'm gonna 3D print a couple of turret parts. So we got a tilt and pan, and uh, hopefully this all works out. Lastly, we need to write some code to control these servos. Now, I could just rig it up to a joystick, which I'm gonna do, but I also wanna sprinkle in a little bit of a AI tracking software. So I'll keep this code explanation brief, cause uh, it's nerd shit. But I mean, you made it this far into an Iron Man build video, so like, don't pretend a little code is too nerdy for you. So I started out by attaching a webcam to the tip of the airsoft gun. Then got myself a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino to drive the servos. Then I use the good old OpenCV library with the AI facial tracking neural network to track any faces in the camera view. Then I wrote a program to figure out the distance the face is from the center and uh, move the servos accordingly. First, it was a bit glitchy, like I just told the servos to move like five degree increments. After doing some more research, implementing a PID method, and essentially stealing code from a bunch of people who actually know what they're doing. All credits linked below, of course. We ended up with this. Ugh. So here's what we got. So obviously the blaster works by having two servos, the pan and the tilt, drive it around so we can have it go up, down, 
left, right. And I thought it'd be funny to control the thing using a Wii nunchuck, uh, cause you know, memes. So right now this is in manual mode. Pretty simple, we just hijack the joystick signal. So the left moves left, right moves right. Uh, and of course we can do it all at once. You may have noticed the aiming laser on this. Standard five milliwatt laser pointer. This helps a lot with aiming in this manual mode cause you can't really aim down sights. Cause it's on your shoulder. Right buddy? He agrees. What should the nice people do? Like and subscribe. We hijack the two signal buttons from the Wii Nunchuck. We trigger the airsoft gun and the laser. We do all the fun things that come with high powered lasers. Pop balloons, burn stuff. You gotta be super careful with this. So laser glasses are definitely a must. And of course, airsoft guns are pretty self-explanatory. Remember that piston pneumatic cylinder we talked about in the beginning? We still have it. Um, still slow as ever. So now it's up here. Maybe you wanna shoot from higher up. I don't know. Turns out though, you don't really need it to like raise and lower off of your back because I built in this mechanism that uh, lets the gun flip backwards uh, when not in use. So now it's just hanging off the back of your back. Your head's all free. Trotting along until you see enemies and then bang! So yeah, it's cool to control this with a remote. But as I mentioned, we also built in some AI facial tracking. Uh, this is both terrifying and awesome. So now it's rigged up to the facial tracker. As you can see, it's uh, tracking my face. So I can move over here, I can move over here. Put that little laser right in my eye. Yeah, your move, Michael Reeves. Dodging bullets, baby, just. I didn't program it to shoot whenever it detects the face because uh, I still want to have control of that. If you go like too far, it'll start automatically like panning the area, trying to find uh, any faces. So it's another level of creepiness. Oh, there it goes. Is it gonna find me? Is it gonna find me? Oh, ding, 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 ding. So as much fun as it sounds to stand right in the middle of this, I think I am gonna go with the pictures of faces. Okay, so before we test this out, I thought it might be kind of fun to try and find some practical uses for this thing. Cause I don't wanna promote violence. Uh, this video is for entertainment purposes only. So to uh, any future robots who may or may not be taking over the world right now, just maybe switch out the guns for something more like this. I present to you the Backpack Snack Attack. Anytime you're a little hungry, just press this button and you'll be instantly rewarded with your favorite snacks, candy, and soft drink. Snacks? <laughs> Candy? Soft drink. <coughs> and don't worry about it making a mess either, you know? The Snack Pack packs state-of-the-art facial tracking technology so you can get a hole-in-one every time. All right, this started out as a joke, but I have soft drink in places that soft drink should never be, so we're turning this thing back in Iron Man. We've got the backpack on, the gun just itching to go. And for targets, we've sent up a bunch of uh, unfriendly faces around my yard. And uh, to make sure we know when they've been hit, I rigged up sort of this mousetrap system. So whenever the targets get hit, they snap shut, setting off some of those explosive poppers that you throw. Basically, I'm just gonna walk through my yard and see how many faces this thing can uh, pick off. So we've got the Cove headphones on, cue sweet montage music. Let's do this. Now there is one more thing I want to try. I call it the ex-wife. 
Okay, so that didn't go exactly as planned, but uh, I mean, in the movies, it didn't work either. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.